Oh, okay. Watch out for the microphone, Ryan. My dance moves? Yeah, show me. <laughs> yeah, show me. This. Uh, <clears throat> What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. On today's adventure, I will be your host. My name is Tyler James, and joining me in the studio, my co-host, Ryan Murphy, everyone. Round of applause for Ryan Murphy joining us. Anyway, today we are here because we're starting a new segment called Beyond the Battle. Beyond the Battle. Because Ryan and I are on a new television show called Battle of the Fittest Couples. Battle of the Fittest Couples premiering on Paramount Network Tuesday, October 15th at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Check your local listings just to be sure. This first episode is going to be called... Before the Battle. Before the Battle. Because we're going to tell you everything that happened leading up to getting onto the show, getting chosen, a little bit about both of us even though you should know this guy already? You should already know me, um, and you might possibly already know her a little bit, even though it's like a rare unicorn sighting that she's on the channel. But here she is. I've cornered her <laughs> into the studio right now. Uh, anything else, Ryan? Oh, and then every week after the episode airs, we are going to tell you a little bit more about what happened beyond. Beyond. I should have like an echo. Beyond. <laughs> if I only had like an echo thing. Beyond, beyond, beyond. beyond, beyond, beyond. The battle. The battle. The battle. Uh, yes, we will be dissecting, jumping into. Can you think of any other descriptive? <laughs> no, I didn't like dissecting though. Didn't like dis dissecting. dissecting. <laughs> uh, breaking down everything that happened inside that house, all the inside scoop, the drama, what really went down. I'm out of descriptions here. That's all you need. Okay, that is all you need, everyone. So stay tuned for this new segment, Beyond the Battle. Shall we get started? If you're new to the channel. Yes, let's not forget. If you are new to the channel, click subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button. Yes, and uh, join the pack, become a rebel. I'm so excited, I did it right. You did it right, that was excellent. <laughs> that was fantastic work, Ryan Murphy. Round of applause for Ryan Murphy, everyone, <laughs> joining us on the... Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, now let's uh, jump into... Before the battle. Before, Before the, the battle. battle. All right, to kick things off, we're going to tell you a little bit about us, right? Right. 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 Go ahead. Um, we have been dating for almost four years. Almost four years, that's incredible. And living together for almost four years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> living together for almost the same amount of time. Uh, funny story, short story, uh -huh. long story, what was happening? We went out on a date, and then we moved in together. Yes, I tried <laughs> to woo this one on a date, and uh, actually, I was technically living in my car at the time. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> remember that? I do. Remember those good times? I do. Yes, I was totally homeless. Uh, but I kept that to myself, I believe, for a minute. Not very long. Yeah, not very long. Not that easy to hide. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Want to come back to my place? <laughs> We're here. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, and then shortly after that, we moved in together. Mm-hmm. Wild. Wild. Worth it. And, uh, now it's almost four years later. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the kickers of the show is that you are battling for one hundred thousand dollars. Man oh man, That's what we could do with that. a lot of hooch. And so, Ryan, what would you do if you want a hundred thousand dollars? What would we do? What would we do? I get a say in the matter? Yeah, you Oh do. my goodness, it's my lucky day. So, there's a few things we'd want to do. Um, we've got a passion for traveling, mm. and I have worked for a long time with special needs children, and I would really love to find a way to combine the two. Would love to travel around the world and help kids in need. I think that would be really amazing. Maybe we could try to work with organizations that are already established. Maybe we could start our own. That would be my dream. And then also... Yes, Ryan is always trying to save the world, everyone. She makes me a better human. Aww. You do. You do. You're cute. I do everything I can to be better for this one. And then we'd also um, put money into, we 
work with an animal shelter, a nonprofit animal shelter that saves animals that are sort of high on the list um, at, the, at the high kill shelters. And so we make sure that they get pulled. We would like to invest money into this organization so we can help it thrive. I'm sure if you had it your way, you would have the giant farm. I would have, have all of those All animals. of the dogs, all of the animals. You see, this is what I'm talking about, everyone, the world. If it's not the human beings, it's all the animals as well. Oh. Ryan's trying to save them all. That's what we would do. What would you do? With $100,000. With $100,000. Is there anything else you think we should do? Put them in the comments section down below. Any suggestions? Um, now let's talk about the casting and how we were actually selected to be on the show. Yes. Tell them, Ryan. Tell them how you saw the casting. Right, that's <laughs> right. I was the first one to see the casting. I think it was on Instagram. Scrolling is one of those sponsored things that said, if you're in the fitness industry and you're a couple and you're in the fitness industry, <laughs> <laughs> then sign up Two here. Two times it said that. Yeah. <laughs> Sign up here and check things out. And I just kept scrolling past and was like, oh, that's kind of neat. I told you about it. Uh -huh. I mentioned it because we've always thought about doing our own television show or having our own fitness training segments. We just wanted to do something together and something that had to do with fitness. And so it seemed like maybe it could be the right thing. Yes, because since we started dating, we actually then were working out together all the time, which was new to me. I never had worked out with a partner before. Yeah. Always the lone wolf. Mm. And then this one came along, teaching me all about nutrition, because that's her specialty. Yes, you. he's the uh, gym regimen creator, and I am the foodie yes here. i'll create the circuits even though she has complete and full knowledge of the entirety of the fitness world but at this particular time and moment i was creating the circuits and the exercises and you were helping and sorting out all of the nutritional needs supplements and such mm -hmm. yes um what happened so you told me about that yes. and then i was looking through all of my castings um through my agency and that kind of stuff and it was like a day later yeah right? and i saw a casting for fit couples i think it was under a different name but i ended up clicking on it and I th we figured out obviously it was the same thing it had some thought, similar words in there mm -hmm. so we're like that's probably the same thing and then i was like well you know I guess you might guess as well sign up it. for it. Yeah, <laughs> you should definitely sign us both up for that, Ryan. So I did. Um, I like I had to go through and fill out all this info about us, do a bio, send in some photos, and then I think that was at like 8 p.m. And then the next morning, we got an email or a phone call saying they wanted to set up a Skype interview immediately, and we were like, <laughs> we both just made the same face. Yeah, was that the face? That we both did. A oh, what? <laughs> um, yeah, it was super, super quick. Did not expect to hear anything from anyone mm -hmm. ever. And then this happened. Yeah. Then it was like, oh my gosh, this might actually be something that's happening. And coincidentally, we were probably two weeks in, maybe just one week to our own 30 day fitness challenge. So we were ramping up this like super intense program because we just got back from vacation is why mm -hmm. so i was probably out of the gym for like three weeks or something so we were like all right gotta go solid month we were doing two a days mm -hmm. doing all sorts of crazy things uh and then this casting came along and the call came along yes madness so then we did our first interview and i think they said they would let us know if we were going to get flown out to an undisclosed location. An undisclosed location <laughs> for the Second next selection process. So then we further amped up our training and I think I was I was trying really hard to like bulk up and maybe went like a little far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean we both kinda did. Two a days are not easy. Yeah. But we then went to we did get selected to get flown out and we were so excited. We got to stay in a hotel and they fed us and I guess all of the other couples that were potentially being chosen for the show were in this hotel too, but we weren't allowed to meet anyone or see anyone or talk to any of these other couples. Yeah, and it was at this point 
when we got that call to be flown out that I had to quit my job oh, yeah. at the time. My whole livelihood, my whole everything, I had to just choose between seeing this through, because we weren't selected to be on the show yet. We were just selected for the next step. Uh, but I couldn't get the time off, so it was either stay and work because we didn't think anything was going to happen, or throw caution to the wind. Throw caution to the wind. And follow your dream. Leave it all behind and pursue the passion. Um, so we went with that route. Mm -hmm. So we're flown out for the second interview and we get to meet a bunch of people that would be working on the show, um, like behind the scenes and producers and that kind of stuff. And it was... Who were all super duper nice yeah. people. Um, and it was like, it was so fun to be there. And then we waited. <laughs> After that second interview, we waited just to be told if we were going to have one final interview and whether we were going to be chosen. Yeah, we had to wait a whole nother day there. Yeah, and it felt like a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, in the hotel room, having no idea what is going to happen. We had other physical testing to make sure that you could be physically ready. Mm -hmm. They let fitness. us. They did let us go work out though, because we were sitting in the room. We were like, Yeah, I'm pretty sure we we're the first ones to call. I know everyone else who might be watching this were like, No, we of course we wanted to work out, but I'm pretty sure we were the first ones to be like, Can we go to the gym, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you have to do when you're so nervous and excited. Yeah, um, and like we were <laughs> towards the end of our. You couldn't give up your 30-day challenge. the end of our 30-day challenge, yeah. I have to, I'm going to see it through, all right? I'm going to see everything through to the end. Yeah, and then so we waited that final night. And then uh, we, we woke up, and we there was a knock on our door, and the some producers and I think directors or not exactly sure. Are they going to say goodbye? Yeah, they <laughs> come in, and they're either telling you you're on the show, and you gotta pack your stuff and we're leaving, or... Or you gotta pack your stuff and, and you're, you're leaving. leaving. <laughs> yeah. um, and so we're sitting in the room and they come in and they kind of like give us this, so it was so lovely to meet you, and it was so great of you to be here, and we're like... <sighs> and they're like, and you're gonna be on the show. And we were like... <sighs> this isn't happening. Yeah. We were very <laughs> Am I being punked right now? Yeah. Where's Ashton Kutcher? Anyway, so that is a little tale of how we saw the casting, we got selected, all the choices we had to make and all the drama that took place leading to us being on the show, Battle of the Fittest Couples, on... Paramount Network. On Paramount Network. Again, check your local listings. Check us out if you are new to the channel. <laughs> Click subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And smash that like button. I'll add in the ding. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to ding. Uh, yes, click subscribe, join the pack, become a rebel. And uh, yeah, thank you all for joining us on the first episode of this segment, Before the Battle. On Beyond the Battle. On the new segment that's going to be called Beyond the Battle. Again, we're going to be talking about all the drama inside the house, talking about the episode after it airs. And, uh, yeah. If you have any questions, all that good stuff. let yes. us know. Please, submit your questions in the comments below. And we will be doing our best to answer those without giving away too much. Without giving away anything at all. Without giving away <laughs> anything at all. I've been advised by my legal team to not give away anything. Also, what? I have a little exclusive clip. Oh of you that me. when that happened the moment we were selected i uh might have recorded a little bit how do you feel about that i'm not sure oh yeah she was there but it was a little while ago so she doesn't remember i think i, I blacked out when they said <laughs> to me on the show. yeah i think i did too so i should probably watch that anyway stay tuned here's the clip we'll see you on the next episode cheers Um, so we made it on the show. Crazy excited. Got selected from uh, 16 couples out of thousands yeah. down to the final 12 that are shipping out mm -hmm. tomorrow to go to the mansion and Super compete. Early. Did a medical evaluation.
and then we had one big meeting with all of the other people where we signed some documents and then we had our big interview got today. to see everyone for the first time and the competition is rather larger than us <laughs> but we're gonna do our best um, yeah and we're still on the escort system back and forth still locked in the hotel room and then uh, then this morning we had our final one hour on camera interview um, and then they just told us now at about 8.30 at night that we're on the show, so. And we're leaving tomorrow morning. Very excited. That's it. Marker. <laughs> What's that noise? Don't those markers make like a little beepy noise? Not that beep. Oh. Jingles. We have a visitor. <laughs> Everyone, you may recognize this creature. This is the Lulu. This is what's known as the Lulu. <laughs> yeah, I know, all right, it doesn't make sense, but here we are. <laughs>